next on five, the congressional race between challenger Dean Young and incumbent Bradley Byrne is beginning to heat up. We've seen several ads by the Young campaign attacking Byrne on his voting record. Young's most recent ad capitalizes on Byrne being a so-called establishment Republican. News 5's Alan Carter spoke with both candidates today to get their sides of the story. It's round two. Dean Young taking another shot at Congressman Bradley Byrne and his seat in Congress. And judging by his campaign ads, the gloves are off. And you have to ask yourself, why would I vote Byrne and send an establishment Republican back to Washington? Let's take our nation back. Byrne has seen the spots, and let's just say he isn't a fan. They're poorly produced. Um, just filled with inaccuracies. And, you know, I've been congressman for two years now. I'm out there a lot with people of this district. They know me. Byrne got the congressional seat after beating Young in a runoff election in 2013. And we have a huge, huge victory tonight. The next year, he ran unopposed. But Young feels now is the time for a rematch. This time will be different because Bradley Byrne has a voting record. And like I said, everyone knows outside of the, the, the southern 1st uh, Congressional District that Bradley is just an establishment Republican. We caught up with Young talking to voters Monday night. Thank you for all you're doing. He hopes to capitalize on some of the popularity of national candidates. That's why you're seeing this outpouring of support for Trump, for Cruz, for Car Carson, uh, Rubio. They're all running away from the establishment. But you see, Bradley can run, but he can't hide. But Byrne says he isn't running from his record. Just the opposite. He stands by it. I go to Washington and vote with and for the people of southwest Alabama. I don't vote with or for people from any other place because they don't vote for me. Sometimes that means I vote with the leadership of the House, and sometimes it means I vote against them. And the primary election is on March 1st. At this point, there are no scheduled debates between the two candidates. Reporting live in the newsroom, Alan Carter, News 5.